Radio Chengalo, restoring everything in Christ with love and truth. Good afternoon with the main news, I'm Patrick Mupeta. Kindly be informed that we are also live on the Radio Chengalo Facebook page. Headlines. Country record a reduction in the number of road traffic accidents. MMD supports the adjournment of parliamentary seatings. Maintaining social distance still a challenge in public buses. The details. The country has recorded a reduction in the number of people killed in the road traffic accidents recorded in the second quarter. Police says during the period under review, 332 died compared to last year's 458, indicating a reduction of 126 road traffic accident deaths. Police spokesperson Esther Mwatakatongo also revealed in a statement that the country has also recorded 6,143 road traffic accidents in the last three months, compared to 7,685 accounted for in the same period last year. Ms. Katongo attributed the increase in the number of road, or, of road traffic accidents recorded this year in the second quarter compared to that of 2019 to, among other factors such as limited in movements as a result of COVID-19 and increased levels of compliance levels by road users. Ms. Katongo added that Lusaka province recorded the highest number of road traffic accidents with 3,212 while the Copper Belt had 1,121, with Western and Northern provinces accounting for list figures of 130 and 125, respectively. People with sick relatives in Kitwe Teaching Hospital have reacted to the health institution's resolve to enforce the banning of the use of bedsiders and visiting of patients. Recently, hospital senior medical superintendent, Dr. Abidan Chansa, expressed concern at the influx of people visiting sick relatives amid COVID-19. But those spoken to by Radio Chengalo News in Quito today said they cannot stay home knowing that their relatives are admitted. Others, however, said the number of people visiting the hospital should be minimized to help fight the further spread of coronavirus. Meanwhile, the swabbing of the 25 brought in dead bodies recorded at Kitu Teaching Hospital at the weekend to ascertain whether they died of COVID-19 is yet to commence. Now, the movement for multi-party democracy has supported the adjourning of parliamentary seatings amid the coronavirus pandemic. Party spokesperson Kefas Mukukan said the party is happy that business of the house was adjourned as adjourned since the year. He told Radio Chengalo News that lives of people at parliament must be protected. For now, we are happy that business has been suspended in the house. Life is precious. It is sacred and cannot in any way be gambled. It's better we save coffers for other developmental projects as opposed to unnecessary by elections, which may arise out of coronavirus related deaths. In case of allowing business to continue in Parliament, in case of any urgent matters to be dealt with, government has always means of dealing with such. Pope Francis has made a surprise visit to, uh, to a sports camp for the children of Vatican employees. The Holy See press office said the Pope met with the young people while they were having breakfast. According to the Catholic News Agency, after greeting the children at each of the tables, he visited the play areas within the hall, which include an inflatable slide. 
the Pope encouraged the children to make new friends. Moving on, the construction of two water kiosks in Chingola's Chigaya area has been completed. Lulamba Ward Councillor Temani Banda says Molonga Water and Sanitation Company is constructing water kiosks with a view of enhancing the provision of water supply to the locality. Speaking to Radio Chingola News in Chingola, Councillor Banda has also assured the residents that more water kiosks are earmarked for construction in the area. The contractor who is putting uh, water pipes. So for us to be waiting for those to be completed, we've started with boilers so that our people can have uh, nice water to, to, to use and drink. And that's what is really happening on the ground, actually. And at the moment, I'm sure we are done, we are, we are done with two boilers, two kioskis, so to say. My mom has put up two kioskis, which are my people have started using at the moment. Some bus drivers in Kitwe have admitted that maintaining social distance in public buses has remained a challenge. The drivers spoken to at Bulangiriro and Chimwame bus stations, however, said they have continued to raise awareness on COVID-19 among commuters. Others have called on government to distribute more face masks at various bus stations to avoid the further spread of the pandemic. And some commuters said they were being encouraged to adhere to public health guidelines. <laughs> Meanwhile, some restaurants visited within the Central Business District CBD told Radio Chengalo News that they were not allowing customers without face masks as a preventive measure. <laughs> This news broadcast comes to you in the community service of Radio Changala with compliments of Moose Milling, Zambia Catholic University, and the Zambia National Building Society. And now international news as monitored from the BBC. Andrew Glanjeni the last surviving anti-apartheid activist convicted with Nelson Mandela at the infamous Rivonia trial of 1964 has died 895. This was the trial considered to have brought Mandela to global attention. Mr. Nglangeni died after being admitted to a military hospital in Pretoria because of an ab abnormal complaint. Police in South Africa investigating the hijacking of a lorry that was carrying COVID-19 samples in the city of Port Elizabeth. The lorry was hijacked while packed outside the clinic on Monday and abandoned shortly after. The samples are reported to be missing. They were, they were contained in cooler boxes filled with ice. Health officials are investigating the number of samples stolen before determining how many people to retest. And finally, President Donald Trump has warned the U.S. pandemic may get worse before it gets better as he revived his virus briefing with the more scripted tone. 
Mr. Trump also asked all Americans to wear face coverings. The president, who was not wearing a face mask at the briefing, has previously disparaged them as, uns as unsanitary. His aides have reportedly pressed him to adopt a more measured approach as virus, case as virus cases spike across the U.S. We now end Radio Chengalame News by taking another look at our headlines. Country record a reduction in the number of road traffic accidents. MMD supports the adjournment of parliamentary seatings and maintain social distancing still a challenge in public places, in public buses rather. Remember to play your part in the fight against coronavirus pandemic by adhering to the safety guidelines as outlined by the Ministry of Health and the World Health Organization. Wear a face mask when in public. Avoid large groups and maintain social distancing. Avoid unnecessary movements. Wash your hands frequently for at least 20 seconds and avoid close contact with people who are sick. Cover your cough or sneeze with a flexed elbow, handkerchief or tissue. This has been Patrick Mpeta with the main news. Good afternoon. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.